are going to talk to you about the sin of feminism, proving to you that scripture condemns feminism, and the thing of Christian feminism is not scriptural at all. Because I read on Wikipedia the thing about Christian feminism, ridiculous. The Bible lays out the biblical family roles, and feminism does not fit in with that. Let me show you about what the biblical family roles are. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22 to 24. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, let, so let the wives be, uh, be unto their own husbands in everything. Not the best at reading on a computer, I do apologize. Colossians 3.18 Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as it is fit in the Lord. Now, Another way you can talk about the biblical family roles is what are the women, what's the job of the woman? Because we know they're supposed to submit to the husband, but what else are they supposed to do? Well, the Bible tells us they're supposed to be keepers at home. Titus chapter 2, verse 3 to 5. The aged woman, likewise, that they be in, be, be in behavior as become with holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the younger women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. And 1 Timothy 5.14, I will therefore the younger woman marry, bear children, and guide the house, give none occasion to the adversary to speak reproach, reproachfully. So, the Bible lays out the roles of women. They're supposed to be keepers at home, obedient to their husbands. They're supposed to marry, bear children, and guide the house. And they're supposed to submit to the husbands, just as the husband submits to Christ. And then the husband's supposed to love the wife, too. You know, it's not just something where the husband has no duties. You no, know, the husband, he's supposed to be the breadwinner. The husband is supposed to go out and work and provide for the family. And he's supposed to love and protect his family. And the wife's supposed to be at home taking care of the kids. But, however... Not only does the Bible condemn feminism, science also condemns, condemns feminism too. Here's actually a study published on the dailymail.co.uk about how stay-at-home mothers are actually more happier. The st uh, survey has shown that m mothers who are stay-at-home are actually more happy and more satisfied with their profession. I'll read this to you. This is from the Daily Mail. I'll link this in the description. Study finds stay-at-home mothers are more satisfied than any other profession. Research has found that stay-at-home mothers are happier than those that go out to work. The survey said that if staying at home with the children were counted as a job, it would rank as having happier workers than any other trade or profession. Only one in seven stay-at-home parents say they are dissatisfied with their role, a level of unhappiness that is less than half that is found among civil servants or salesmen and women. So, uh, not only does the Bible condemn feminism, science actually backs up the Bible. Because women are more happier when they're stay-at-home mothers. Because that, that's God's plan. The husband goes out and works and provides. The wife has kids and stays home with the kids. God's plan always works. So, don't be deceived by quote-unquote Christian feminism. Scripture condemns it and science condemns it. So, don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye. Thank you.